Coach Rob here with LJ Cryer. I'm just trying to catch up with him his senior year, going out with a bang. Uh, and and so far, so far LJ's been pretty much uh, steaming hot. He's averaging 32.8 points right now. And uh, I'd like to know what's going on with you, man. What's going on in your head with this with this hot fire Dylan Dillinger? <laughs> oh, I been I feel like I've been playing really well. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't had the outcomes that we wanted to. Yeah. Like as we had as much, yeah, yeah, as far as wins. <clears throat> so I mean, feel like I could do a little more. Um, take care of the ball a little better. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not too focused on like my individual stats, like. Yeah. The most important thing is the win. For sure, for sure. Um at, at last interview we did a few years ago, um uh one of the things that you talked about was um becoming a better leader. Mm -hmm. Uh just had to watch that. Uh how do you feel like you transformed into a, a better leader? Um I'm more vocal. Um some people say I can hear. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some people say I'm still not um where you need to be. Not where I yeah, where I need to be, but um I feel like I'm improving every year, so um, I'm telling guys where they need to be on the floor, um, encouraging dudes. So I feel like I'm just becoming a better leader all around. So now that you are becoming a better leader, um, what what parts of your leadership do you think you do the best? Uh, That's a I, I feel like I try. I try to, um, my best to give guys confidence. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't like trying to like take it away, saying like. Um, like downing them, yeah, yeah, saying like like negative stuff. Yeah, like mm -hmm. when you open, shoot the ball. Like sometimes I feel like some of the dudes like they be scared to shoot, but mm -hmm. I just gotta give them the confidence to shoot. So, and it's good that you say that because on the high school level, you have a lot of kids that uh, student athletes, not kids, uh, student athletes that um, they do play basketball, but they're not gonna be on the same level as right. Division One NCAA uh, kids, so um, how are you gonna feel? How are you gonna? How do you feel going to Baylor, and knowing that you not necessarily you don't have to spend too much energy on that. You can just kind of play your game. Uh, I still gonna have to give my guys confidence when I get to Baylor, and they're gonna have to um, uplift me, give me confidence. Cause I mean, everyone's gonna feel down at some point. So I mean, we all gotta pick each other up. But right. um, as far as playing with other guys at the same like level as me, I'm excited to do it. Right, right, right. Um, what brought you to the Baylor decision? Uh, academically, it's a very great school, and then um, my whole family was just bought in. Yeah. Like, so um, I'm real big on family, so it was a family decision to me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when you went down to your visit, uh, was there anything that stuck out uh, opposed to like other universities that you were like? Uh, uh, like the family, like atmosphere that was there. Um, the co I feel like the coaches really love me. Um, so I mean, if, if if the coaches are showing me that much love, I really want to play for them. Okay, so um, how's your? Tell me about your your academics here at uh, Morton Rush. Is everything as far as setting you up for success at Baylor? Is everything good? Yeah, school isn't that hard here. So I mean, um, <laughs> school isn't that hard here. Okay. No, so I mean. I don't know what to expect there. I mean, school is school. So. We'll, we'll say we'll say school isn't that hard here because you're smart. Yeah. Because somebody here is struggling. Yeah, somebody here <laughs> is struggling. I never really struggled in school, so I mean, yeah. when we get to college, we'll just see how that goes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I always talk to you about branding, man. Um, and uh, Lee Ning is one of the partners that I have, and I try to educate uh, other people on Lee Ning. And the last time I talked to you. You were like, ah, nah, leave me. I never heard of it. But now, let, let, let me, let me, I know, I know I brought it to you guys like two, three years ago when it was brand new. Mm -hmm. Nobody in Houston knew about it. Pretty much nobody in America knew about it. But now it's, it's gaining steam. What have you heard or seen in the last, you know, year or two in regards to leading brand? Uh, it's blowing up. Um. Isn't Dwayne Wade with them? Dwayne Wade, yeah. yeah. RJ Hampton. Um, yeah, so I mean. Signed sign with him. Yeah, they're getting they some just got uh, D'Angelo. Uh, yeah, I saw that too. Him, so. so, I mean, they're doing good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to show you. <laughs> I want to show you uh, this CJ. This CJ McCullum. Oh, yeah. I forgot CJ. Okay, so I want you to. Uh, I want you to give me your, your opinion on this shoe. <clears throat> 
And you can you can be honest, brutally honest. Me me personally, I like this soul. The first thing that stands out to me is this soul. It reminds me of one of Harden shoes. One of Harden shoes, yeah. Yeah. Is that which which number is that? Uh, for Harden. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it reminds me of one of them because he has like this on the side of it, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think about the just the look of it? These are these are like player edition ones. These are um, uh, Rose City. Mm -hmm. You know, like they call it Rose City. So. This is the inspiration behind this shoe. But what do you think about the design? Colors are colors, you know, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a solid shoe. You think you could wear you could wear this red and green, a uh, little bit of green with the with the Baylor uniform if if possible. Uh, nah. <laughs> On <a> Christmas Day. <laughs> nah, I know it's too much red, but yeah, um, yeah, man. Uh, Lee Ning is uh is a is a brand that you know obviously supported 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 me uh you know kind of growing. As uh, showcase grew and now it's, it's life of, life above the ball now, but um, it was it was it was something that I wanted to express to you guys about not necessarily having to uh, go with shoe brands that are known because these these shoe, shoe brands that are up and coming they allow you to have partnership deals mm -hmm. to where it's like LJ's brand. And the shoe brand, not right. like um, it's not like we're giving you a check to to kind of promote us. It's like we're partners, business partners. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, last last time uh, I asked you if somebody were to think about LJ, what's the first thing that comes to mind? And so what is the first like right now? What is your what is LJ's brand? Because because ba Baylor's brand is sickening, right? First thing you think Baylor sports is sickening, right? And so I, I'm always going to push you. I'm always going to push you to uh, brand yourself. Mm -hmm. Just because the ball can stop at any time. But products don't stop. Information doesn't stop. You know, so you always can capitalize on LJ years down the road. I mean, how long? Like you know how Baylor has sick. I don't know what I would like say for myself. I just feel like it. It, it may not even be um. So like Alan Iverson, this is the answer. You know that was his thing, the answer. You know, uh, Kobe is is Mamba, like Black Mamba. Like, and it's not it's not it's not the actual phrase. Yeah, it's the it's the lifestyle. Like I'm, I'm a kill. I'm a kill. like you you know what I'm saying. Like I'm a kill. Whoever's in front of me, Black Mamba, you know. So, uh, think about it like that, because I think that's what sets athletes apart. Right. Yeah, it, I don't know. It's you know, like James Harden, his his whole thing is a beard, but he also <laughs> has like this. He's, he's has his little patented step back. Mm -hmm. But that's a move, though. Yeah, that's a move. Yeah, that's yeah. more like a move. But but that's his brand, though. People know, like, when someone does. When someone, if you go to a gym right now and you see a kid do a step back, the first player you're gonna think of is yeah, James Harden. Hard. Even though people have been doing that for years, mm -hmm. he's the one who has kind of like commercialized it. I don't know. I can't think of something off the top of my head right now. I have to think about it. And that, and, that, and that's good though. You know, it's okay. I'm just trying to plant seeds. Um, I like you to challenge yourself to, mm -hmm. you know. And there's nothing wrong with you creating your own move also. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get to better, and you have this patented move that you do more than anybody else, and, you know, you're you're actually uh, capitalizing on that move. Uh -huh. Eventually, people are going to know LJ for that move. Right. Anything else you would like to get out there? No. Do you, do you, do you plan on making the NBA? Yes, sir. That's a go, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you know about the NBA in regards... To finances. What you mean? Like right now, you make the NBA. What's what's who's the first person that gets paid? First person that gets paid. Yeah, like when you when you sign and you and then you start getting your money. Who's the first person that gets paid? Your agent. Yeah, I ain't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I always do this stuff. I always uh you know try to talk to y'all about stuff like this because. Even if you don't know, it's my job to plant the seed 
and you you gonna do your own research. You know, uh-huh. your, your parents are gonna do the research or whatever. Um, and even if you do need me to answer questions, I'm here for you to answer these questions. But I just want to plant seeds with y'all. So making the NBA, man, uh, that's obviously a goal. That was a goal. For, that's a goal for almost everybody right. that plays basketball. If if it's not a goal, you shouldn't be playing basketball. But um, as far as um, going to Baylor, I think that you have a good shot. There's a lot of guys that have come from there. And, um, man, congratulations on your journey. You're I still pretty it. quiet, though. You're still, <laughs> you're still pretty quiet. But I, I do see the I do see the change. You, mm-hmm. know, you are more more vocal than you were. But, you know, you, you'll get there. Yes, sir. So, um, any, anything else you want to say uh, for the Baylor fans, alumni, or... You know, any messages going uh, forward? Uh, I mean, y'all getting a hardworking player. Um, I'm going to just give y'all my all. Okay. All right, Baylor Bears. This is uh, one of your – this could be one of your legends, okay? Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things that go into it, work, work ethic and sometimes just staying healthy. You know, you never know. But uh, wish him the best. Pray, pray uh, blessings on him when he gets to Baylor. Uh, Waco, Texas, and um, you guys have your what? 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 What do you? What do you? As far as your style of play, obviously it's gonna have to change mm-hmm. before we before we cut this off. What? As far as tempo, what is the comfort level with Baylor's tempo? Uh. I mean, I feel like I fit right in. Um, I can adjust to whatever they need me to do. Um, I feel like they let the guards play with freedom, let them make plays. And um, I feel like I always try to make the right basketball play, whether it's scoring, Mm -hmm. uh, kicking it. So, I mean, you just don't think about it. You just got to go out there and play. All right, man. Keep up this good season. Uh, (laughs) 40 pieces. Uh, Keep keep it up, man. Uh, Obviously, you know, you want to uh, have great success as a team. Uh, and individual success comes second, but LJ's on the tour right now. So, signing off, Coach Rob and LJ Cryer.